backing out of the garage for me to do a photo shoot. Wow. Very nice. Right, here we are in an absolutely beautiful Camp Verde, Arizona day. End of the day, probably about 80 degrees. Just a beautiful spring day. We're looking at a very nice 1932 Ford Brizio built street rod. It was built for the owner. He had Brizio build it. We're going to do a little walk around. I'm going to go kind of slow. I have a lot of things to talk about on this car. I may mess up like I do sometimes, but at least you know it's real. Probably start off with it is an, on original 1932 Ford frame. It's a Brookfield steel body. The car's been built about five years or so, maybe a little bit more. Has 1,500 miles on it. It's from a very prestigious collection. We're on Deuce, Deuce Ranch here. It's known as the Firestone Roadster. It is very, very well done. It has Firestone. These are real Firestone spoked wheels with restored hubcaps. Air balloon Firestone wheel. They're a split rim that separates as the air comes out of the tire or comes back in. They are a true spoke wheel. Obviously, it's got Firestone tires on it. The fronts are 550, 16, four plies, bias. Has Ford, it is original Ford rails with original wishbones, an original Ford front axle. We'll cover that on the undercarriage portion of the video. I'll do a little walk around. BLC headlights. It is an original NOS Ford grill shell and grill. The owner, Bob, is going to correct me if I get something wrong on it. These are Lincoln drum brakes, and they are original Lincoln drum brakes. They're not reproductions. This car is very well done. It's absolutely beautiful. These Brookville bodies, you'd never know by looking at them that they were anything but a Henry Steel body. But they are steel. Working cow vent. 25 louver hood. Brizio Street Rod Association. This isn't a Brizio car. The top is hand built and the bows are hand formed wood by the owner. At least the forward bow is here. Windshield has about a two or two and a half inch chop on it, right? I'm going to be referring to Bob from time to time as I go around here. All the painting, all the hand, uh, all the uh, graphics were done by Bill Knight. They are hand done in original Firestone style. Firestone gum dipped rubber. Even the decal is painted. Even the decal down here is painted. Oh my. You can see the reflections here. This is very, very, car's only got 1,500 miles on it. It's black. You might see a little dust here and there. The top does come off the car. Is it collapsible? No. As with all Brizio street rods, this car is extremely well done from every piece of wire. This interior is an NOS or an NOS design. Um, yeah, it's called a leather cloth. Yep. Door map pockets. It has a really nice texture to it. You can see as I get up close there. These door pockets right here. These gauges are a flip down gauge so you can read. You're wondering how you're going to read. Uh, see how this thing's doing. It's got an extra oil pressure and volt gauge over here. It has a German square weave carp style carpet in it. But again, this upholstery is just really nice. Sid yeah, Sid Shavers did the interior. Okay. Top's just beautiful. That's an original trans. Uh, Ford. 39 Ford Trans. I would call that interior color kind of a charcoal gray. Maybe a little tinge of a, a brown in it. And the carpet's a 
a very nice mocha color you can probably tell that from the video going a little slow having a lot of fun walking around this car the fit on it's absolutely incredible as you would expect at this level you want to own a car like this there aren't many of these available for sale it's built very authentic but again it is on uh, original Ford Henry rails it's got the fender mounting points studs step back and let's take a look here from this side and yeah, the reflections are just beautiful has 37 Ford taillights is that what those are correct that's an original Arizona 32 license plate 2 SE8 again this is all hand painted stuff Bill Knight did all the hand painting the exhaust sounds really bitching when you hear it run hang on to the end of the video here you'll hear it run Fenton headers with Smitty's There's nothing like that sound step back and take a look here at this side of it I'm being kind of calm you sometimes I get pretty wound up when I do these videos but this one just leaves you in awe as you look at it fun to go around take my time have the time today sometimes I'm a little rushed but when you look at a car like this it's built just like it would have been back in the day almost got a little bit of a 50s salt flat kind of feel to it again the texture Jenny style all the way through this thing set a tack underneath the dash here with a red line on it we're gonna cover the motor here in just a second or the engine whichever you prefer to call it oh. it's got an original Lincoln Zephyr steering wheel which is really neat The odometer at the time of inspection here says 1,507 miles. It has uh, Stuart Warner uh, curved face gauges, which give you, you know, you don't have any reflections and you get a better view of the gauges. It's got an original 32 Ford firewall. Went to the trouble to do that. It is a trunk car. We'll have trunk video here. It's very basic, but look at the wiring on this car. I know it's a little hard to see. There's a the voltage regulator. It's converted to 12 volts. It's a 12 volt generator. We'll hop out here. Door jam to door jam, just what you'd expect. The hardware, the fit is just unbelievable. Keep walking around just a little bit here. We're going to take a little break and we're going to cover the engine compartment for you here. And then we're going to cover the undercarriage and so on and so forth. And We'll have it fired up and turn it around a couple times and anyway it's about time you get in and listen to the rest of the video and definitely when you're done go to spudsgarage.com you're on spuds garage youtube and you'll definitely see this car advertised other places with spuds right, spuds garage take a look underneath the engine compartment here and this is where you get really really fun talking about it it's a uh, 59 ab flathead v8 it's a uh, three and three eighths bore and it has a four inch crankshaft in it. Some guys called those Merck cranks. It was built by who again? Dan Crable. Dan Crable built the motor. It has Eddie, My Eddie Myers uh, Hollywood California cylinder heads on it. Offenhauser intake manifold. Brand new Stromberg 97 carbs with Edmonds air filter assemblies. The firewall is a Jenny 32 Ford firewall. You can obviously see the fire, the wiring that was done here was all done in the wax coated cloth. Stainless hardware, all the bolts are correct length so the nuts fit just right. And we mentioned this is an original 32 Ford VIN, 32 Ford chassis, 18132990. So a 56 Ford F100 steering box right there. Something like that, am I correct? I'm referring to the owner, he's sitting over there helping me out here through this. Those are original genuine Ford shocks that have been rebuilt. Obviously it has Fenton headers on it. We'll give you a little look here. 
Fenton headers with Smitty pipes. There's nothing like the sound of a four inch crank flathead with Smitty's on it and Fenton headers. I can tell you that. Maybe we'll get him to wrap it up for you here in just a minute and let you hear it. Then now it's a 12 volt generator with an original 32 Ford fan on it. It has a crab distributor in it. it. Has a Walker radiator. If you're thinking you can't drive a car like this, if you look real hard, you can see some bugs in the radiator. With 1,500 miles, he's driven it. You can drive it. Great driving car. Very nice. Best thing I can do is sometimes just be a little quiet when I show you the other side. I kind of crammed a lot in there. The Jenny fan we just spoke about. It has a 39 Ford transmission and a Columbia two-speed rear axle. We'll cover that on the undercarriage here. So she's got long enough legs. You can take her down the road. Anyway, I'm going to ask Bob to fire it up if you wouldn't mind. We'll listen to it run. All right, we came over to the driver's side here. We put one hood side down so they wouldn't rub together. We'll let you hear him fire it up here. <laughs> you got to love the sound of that. You know you dig Spud's Garage videos. Let's go to the back here. Bob, if you wouldn't give us the sound of them smitties. the undercarriage here while we still have a little bit of light we're at the end of the day here it's the last thing I wanted to cover it's a beautiful spot genuine 1932 Ford chassis rails frame everything's 32 about it the wishbones on the front end those are Lincoln juice brakes original brakes not reproductions the BLC headlamps we covered before but we'll cover them again Original genuine Ford shocks front and rear. That is not a dropped axle. That's a genuine 32 Ford axle. Wow. Okay, you look. You hear my feet graveling in the dirt here. I just uh, sorry for that noise, but the level of detail in this car. Those are 32 Ford wishbones front and rear. The transmission. Show you the floor pans. There's a Smitty muffler right there. Columbia two speed rear axle. We really don't even need a lift because we're getting this one really good. The light's perfect. See the level of detail right there. Again, we're going to mention the shocks here. Stop long enough for you to get a good feel. The juice brakes. being a little quiet because I want you to be able to see this thing without my interruptions but I'm going to keep interrupting you. Wow. Again factory wishbones all the brake hydraulic lines will run nicely along the bones there. We mentioned earlier it has a early Ford pickup steering box right there. Wow. I'm thinking you dug the video. You got a really good feel for this car. If you're looking for a very nice pro-built top-of-the-line car, definitely go to spudsgarage.com. You're on the Spuds Garage YouTube. Thanks for